And we finished. And that's how it's done. Day 21, the last day of the Linux Upskill Challenge. Thank you so much for being in this journey with me. This deserves some celebration. Cheers. So we learned a bunch of stuff and we came a long way. What I'm going to do next? Am I a system administrator now? Uh, kinda. Yeah, you have a server. You know how to manage that. So... Hackerman. But I came here to give you five next steps in your journey with Linux. The first one is practice the command line. You already know a few things and in all of the lessons there is more resources that you can refer to learn more. So get into those resources and really try them out. The best way to learn how to work on the command line is simply working on the command line. There's no shortcut for that. But if you want to try different things, I can recommend the, the command challenge. This is very intuitive and it's going to be a lot of fun. If you're looking for something more specific, you can use command line full. There's a bunch of ideas here. Step number two, experiment on your server. We already made this server as a web server with Apache, but you can try it out with Nginx or install a WordPress. Or if you're not really into web servers, you can, you can change it for a file server or a mirror or make it a database server. You name it. The server is yours. You can do it anything you want with it. And like everything else, just check the manual, check the documentation and try it out on your server. Other thing you can do, bring Linux home. I did that a long time ago <laughs> and I'm still using Linux today. We try to give an idea of how distributions are different and how to deal with them. But if you really want to hop into the Linux world for domestic use or for a professional use, I would suggest always to check on DistroWatch. DistroWatch has been around for 20 years maybe what i like to use is here at the top use search i want to create a, a nas server for my home network i can come here and click on nas submit so query is going to give me the list of distributions there are focused on being a nas i mean network access servers so i have open media vault i have free nas there is really popular easy nas and you can really explore a lot of distributions here. Linux users are prone to distro hopping. This is because we like to experiment new things and each distro has its own goods and bads. For a tip, take a course. If you think that a course is going to help you understand more how Linux works, take a course. There's so many courses free or for just a few dollars that can be an investment for your life. There are a bunch of courses out there. I like the free courses of Linux Academy at Udemy. There's also LinkedIn Learning. There's CBT Nuggets. CBT Nuggets is... Mm. And of course, Cloud Guru that acquired Linux Academy. What Linux Academy used to offer is now on Cloud Guru. If you don't want to spend any money, YouTube is there for you. A few recommendations. I like Tutorial Linux, Chris Titus Tech, Computer Field, and Free Code Academy. And for my Portuguese speaking friends, eu sei que vocês estão aí. Linux Chips is like Jeff. And my last recommendation would be get certified. There are a few certifications that have a big impact in the market, but I'm a firm believer that certifications should be an attestment of your ability to do that thing. Certifications are, in essence, an accreditation of an ability or skill that you already have. I'm not much into studying for a certification in itself, but I understand that the market uses the certifications as a turning point and getting someone an interview for a job position. So that's why I'm, I'm bringing this today. Is the Linux Upskill Challenge going to prepare me for a certification? Short answer is no. The long answer is no if you use only what is in the challenge. If you want to get a certification, the closest is Linux Essentials. I did the exam. This is the very first entry level for Linux administration on 
any Linux certification that I found and it really is pretty much a par with what we teach here on the challenge. However, if you want anything more than that, if you want an LPIC 1, it's not going to prepare you for that. The Linux Professional Institute certifications are very interesting if you want to become an expert in Linux. They are going to prepare you step by step to learn every single bit of Linux. And it's really interesting if you, that's the career that you want to pursue. But if you want to just be an administrator, there's CompTIA Linux Plus, Linux Foundation Certified System Administrator, the big one that everyone loves, Red Hat certify a system and administrator. If you want to really just test your comprehension of what this challenge was uh, providing you, Linux Essentials is the exam for you. I never see any job offers that reference Linux Essentials because it's really, really basic. And what we did here was really, really basic. It wasn't supposed to be complex. If you want to get it complex, you have to study more. So with that being said, thank you so much for joining me in this journey. I appreciate all the comments and don't forget to get into the subreddit. Give a shout out to Steve. He's going to appreciate that as well. Thanks for all the love. Cheers. Have fun in your Linux journey. Thank you. Bye.